Hello everyone, this is Carlos and today I'm going to be talking about how to assemble your RP3. You can see you got a box and a bar and uh, the next thing we're going to do is start opening them and getting them ready to assemble. We just unwrap the bar and it's here next to the box. We have the box here, we just open the box and in the first layer of the box we can see we have the seat, we have the electricity adapter, we have one of the foot stretchers, we have the front, leg that will go connected to the bar and we have a part of the foot stretcher and under here will be the machine. So here you can see we have the tools for assembly, we have the other part of the foot stretcher, we have the main frame that is all already together, we have the other leg that is under the frame and we have the monitor and the support for the monitor here. So we have the screws to assemble the legs into the bar, we have some of the wrenches needed to do that assembly and to also uh, adjust many things of the machine and also we have the charger for the monitor and um, some parts of the machine that will keep going through as we assemble. In order to start the assembly of the machine, what I'm going to do first is take the frame out so I have access to one of the legs to start uh, putting the bar together. So I lift the frame out of the machine and then I'm going to put it here in this cushion part here I'll leave it here for the moment. I'm back here, get the leg and get ready to start. So I'm going to use two screws and the allen to assemble the back leg to the bar. So here important, you have the bar and you could see this bar has the curve on one end. That curve will go facing down, so the curve is down and obviously the holes will face down as well and the curve is on the side of the back leg. The back leg is the one with that screw on top. So what we're going to do is take the bar on the side of the curve with the holes under, put it at the end of the leg, and we're just going to push it down here, and then we're going to, there is two holes here, take the two screws, and with the Allen, we're going to place them here and finish the assembly of the leg. So the next step is uh, put the machine in the bar. I'm going to take the two screws for the front leg. I have here the tool. I'm going to take out the seat, which I will need to fit into the bar before the machine. I keep the seat here. And also, I'm going to remove the front leg, which I will need to close it. So front leg, seat, two screws and wrench. So we have the bar and the parts here. Remember the back leg with the curve over there. So next, first step, we take the seat on this direction over here and then we're going to fit it through the bar. We leave it here and now I'm going to get the frame and I'm going to put it into the bar. Be sure before you introduce the frame into the bar that the lock is open, it's facing into the green. So I have the bar, I have the seat facing to the front, I have the frame here, don't drop it because it will fall, it's waiting to be inserted, I have the front leg, the tool and the two screws. So the first step I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the frame down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the bar. Remember the pin needs to be open and the bar fits, you need to line them up, the bars. Okay, you see the bar now coming out in the front. I keep feeding the bar. So now I'm here, coming to the front of the bar, raise it with my hand. Now, the frame is into the bar. I'm going to take the front leg. This is important that you do it with one hand, you have the bar. You can send the frame into the bar. You put it here, and this is key. I'm using my foot to hold the front leg so it doesn't move with the wheels. And then what I'm going to do now is settle that. And now I need to line up the holes of the bar with the legs, put the two screws, and then uh, the assembly will be over. As we mentioned before, we have uh, the locking mechanism here that is open. If not, we won't be able to insert the frame into the bar. And then we have a hole here in the bar. So what we're going to do is lock the mechanism and slide it all the way to the hole. So the frame is going to lock. That's the only hole into the bar. 
And now we're going to use these two parts over here to finish the assembly of the parts of the machine. One goes here, and it introduces here, and the other one is a bumper. So I'm putting the bumper in here, and uh, the bumper, the functionality of that bumper is to avoid direct uh, metal contact from the frame with the front leg, and uh, it's nice to have that cushion. So we have the two foot stretchers and the two parts that are going to assemble. So remember, that part goes to the outside of the foot stretcher. So this one will be on the right, this one on the left. So I take one of them, I remove one end, start with the left one, for example, insert it here, through here, get the other one out. Now, through the machine. Okay, remember that all these laces stay away from here. Get that one over here, rig in, and then close with the rivets. So now we're going to assemble the monitor and the support that I took from the uh, box and we're going to use these two tool and allen and a 10 millimeters that are on the toolbox so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove this pin over here I'm going to get the cable out the USB cable I'm going to leave it here on the side you're going to take the monitor and um, this part is facing down and you're going to put it here and remember the cable is at the top so you leave the cable at the top you put that part down and then you're going to insert pin from one side and take it from the other one. You take the monitor out, remove the holder. There is a plastic protection here on the glass. If you want to remove it, you can. Put it back and hook it into the USB connector. Monitor connected. I just turn it on. You can see it's ready to go. So machine assemble, front leg, back leg, seat, frame, legs are firm. And now, before you roll, you need to be sure that two things. One is the adjustment of the bar is right. There is a video for that. And one of the reasons I could see this adjustment is not right is when I take the lock out, you'll see the machine will slide too pulling into the back. And the reason is this leg is too low. That's why the machine is sliding to me. And this is in order to fit it into the box. But there is a video that talks about the adjustment of the bar and how to do it. The second part you want to make sure is working properly is the adjustment of the rollers into the bar. If the frame can have a movement, is that those rollers are not adjusted. Normally, the frame will come with the rollers adjusted. But if not, please, I have a video that you can watch that walk you through all the steps to adjust the rollers. Machine is ready to go. Bar adjustment is done. Rollers are adjusted. Monitor is on. Strap myself. Take the handle. This is Ben Carlos. Thank you for watching. And remember, keep tuning into the YouTube channel. And every week we are going to be uploading instructional videos about how to use the RP3 and how to take the most advantage of it.